Hello and welcome. We're going to look at how to solve quadratic equations using factoring. Now this is a pretty simple process and works excellent on any quadratic equation that factors nicely. Let's go ahead and look at the process of how this will work. So the first thing that we want to do is get zero on one side of our equal sign. Then we'll go ahead and factor the quadratic that's on the other side. Once we have each of its factors, we'll set each of those equal to zero. Now what this will create is two simpler equations that we'll simply solve from there on out. Now the reason why these will be much simpler than our original equation is uh, each factor it will be linear uh, so there won't be any more squareds, you know, we'll just solve them directly. Let's quickly run through three quick examples and see this process in action. So the first one I want to solve is x squared minus x is equal to 12. So according to the process, I first need a 0 on one side. So to do that, I'm going to subtract a 12 from both sides of my equation. So x squared minus x minus 12 is all equal to 0. Now I want to take this and factor the quadratic over here on the left side. So we're looking for two factors. And you can use any technique to factor this that you want. Uh, for this nice example here, I'm going to use just the uh, reverse FOIL method. So I need two values that would multiply together and give me an x squared, so x and x. And I need two numbers that will multiply to give me a negative 12, but some, somehow add to give me a negative 1. So this will be a negative 4 and a positive 3. So these multiply to give me a negative 12, perfect and they add to give me a negative 1, looks great. So now that we have our factors, we take each of them and set them equal to 0. So I have my x minus 4 equals 0, and I have my x plus 3 equals 0. Now individually, these are much nicer equations to solve. In fact, we can do it directly. So for this one on the left, I will add 4 to both sides. There we are. For this one, I will subtract 3 from both sides. There we are. And now I have my solutions. That x is either equal to 4 or equal to a negative 3. So if you follow the process correctly, uh, you'll get your answers uh, pretty, pretty quickly. Let's do another one. This time make it a little bit harder. So I want to solve negative 5x minus 6 is equal to a negative 6x squared. Thinking about that process, the very first thing I need to do is get a 0 on one side. So let's take this uh, 6x squared, let's add it to both sides. So 6x squared minus 5x minus 6 is all equal to 0. Now the part where this can get uh, really tough is actually looking at the quadratic and finding some way to factor it. Check out some of my other videos on, say, the AC method or the guess and check method for help on breaking down these quadratics. This one does factor, and it factors into the following. 3x plus 2 and 2x minus 3. Let's double check this just to make sure it factors correctly. So 3x times a 2x would give me a 6x squared. The outside term would be a minus 9x. The inside term would be a positive 4x. So those combine and would give me a negative 5x. The last two terms, positive 2 and negative 3, sure enough, multiply it be a negative 6. So these are my factors that the quadratic breaks down into. Now we want to take each of these factors and set them equal to 0. Awesome, look at that. Alright, now from here, we solve the much simpler equations, see what we get for x. So starting on the left, I will subtract a 2 from both sides. Looks good. And now I will divide by 3. Alright, there's one solution. For this one, I will add 3 to both sides. And then divide by 2. So for this one, my two solutions are a negative two-thirds 
and a three halves. Awesome. Now I'm going to show you one more example on uh, something that might happen when you factor this, and you know, just something that you want to be aware of. It's not necessarily a, a difficult problem, but it does catch a lot of people off guard. So in this one I want to solve 2x squared minus x is all equal to zero. So the good part is, it's already equal to zero on one side, and we can move directly into the factoring part. As I'm looking over here, I notice that I only have two terms. And in fact, they both have an x in common, so I can take a common x out of both of those. There we are. So it factors into an x, and a 2x minus 1. Now it's this x that often gives people problems. They say, oh, well, I guess it's not, uh, it doesn't look like my other factor, so maybe I treat it differently. But the thing to remember is that you do not treat it any different than your other normal factors. So this is a factor, set it equal to zero. And all of this is another factor, set it equal to zero as well. Now the good part is, this one, it's already solved. X is equal to zero. And now we only have to solve this one. So add 1 to both sides, and divide by 2. So our two solutions for this one are x equals 0 and x equals 1 half. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.